The Blender community is vast and awesome, but there are a lot of things that we all cannot agree about. So let's go ahead and talk about them. Blender will never be as good as the paid software. So this hot take I've seen a lot whenever we talk about how awesome Blender is, someone will always say this. I understand where they're coming from, but at the same time, I gotta personally disagree. So I've used ZBrush, Cinema 40, Maya, Fusion 360, and a whole bunch of different 3D tools. And at the same time, even though I've used all of them, I find myself using Blender more and more because there are so many awesome features built into it. And I get that it can do a whole lot of things, maybe not as easily as some of the other softwares, but it's also one of the very few softwares that can handle both the animation, sculpting, rendering, plugins, 2D animation, video editing, color correction, and compositing. And yeah, this is just the tip of the iceberg because Blender is just jam-packed with features that arguably make it one of the better selling points of it to where if Blender was offered out there for the same pricing model as any of the other paid software programs, I definitely think that people would actually cough up the money to pay for Blender because it is that good of a software. So when people say it's not as good as the paid or professional softwares, I, I definitely disagree with that one. Okay, second hot take is that Blender is a jack of all trades and a master of none. So this one is a little similar to the last one, but I actually kind of agree with it in that Blender is a jack of all trades and a master of none because for just about every feature that you find within Blender, whether that's the animation or rendering, or even some of the compositing features, there is most likely gonna be a better software out there that handles that so much faster, easier, with a better user face. For example, if we even take something like making materials and texturing inside of Blender, already I'm sure the substance painter people are screaming, hey, there's, there's a better way to do this. And then when anyone tries to tell me that color correcting or doing some sort of compositing in Blender is a capable substitute for something like After Effects, I would just definitely lose it because yeah, there's just really no comparison when you try to think of all the features and the workflow for doing some of these tasks. Now, I will say though, that is a really good benefit of Blender being able to do just about all the different trades of the motion design industry. So if you're someone who actually really likes to have just one software, one suite to do most of all of your work in without having to switch softwares back and forth here and there, then Blender is definitely gonna be the tool of choice. But for most of the rest of the community, I do think that a lot of us will use multiple softwares at once. And so in that sense, yeah, Blender is not going to be the master of anything for that matter. Okay, next hot take is that Eevee is better than Cycles. And I also understand where they're coming from with this one. I can't really fully disagree or agree with it because I'm kind of on the fence. So I understand that Cycles takes a really long time to render, but at the same time, it's because it's actually using your GPU. It's doing a lot more calculations and you get much more realistic lighting and renders out of cycles whereas EV is almost comparable to like a game engine render to where you have a lot more limitations and even though it runs really fast and a lot of artists have been able to pump out amazing looking works using EV as their main render it's really just about your own preference so there really is no better option out there if you do find yourself using a lower end computer maybe focusing on EV might help you out in the long run but at the same time it's really good to just understand your project and how each of these different renders can tackle projects in a fashion that's either better for you or worse. Okay, so this hot take comes in response to when I showed the Nomad Sculpt app, which for anyone who doesn't have any reference, this is what it looks like. It's an app that can run on Android, iOS, it can run mobile, and someone actually says that Blender can do the same thing, but faster, easier, and just overall better. And for this one, I gotta wholeheartedly disagree because I personally have sculpted in Blender. I've done the box modeling techniques. I've used the model modifiers and then all those things yet when I transferred over to using something like Nomad Sculpt my mind was blown at just how easy and intuitive it was to where most of the time now I'll find myself using Nomad Sculpt to sculpt something and then maybe just Blender to actually render it so for that instance yes Blender is great at rendering but I mean come on for something that's running literally on a cell phone that you can use just about anywhere anytime that's that's a huge benefit so Blender is not a portable software you can't use it uh that easily unless you have something like a laptop and even then that's a little bit more cumbersome than something like a cell phone or a tablet. So 
for that sense blender is not better than nomad sculpt when it comes to sculpting and also arguably when it comes to stuff like zebra sculpting blender does slack a little bit in certain areas though i would say blender is really really capable for sculpting and i think a lot of people are going to enjoy it no matter what ai should be banned in blender so this hot take was in response to when i first showed use of ai in blender something like chat gpt can actually write scripts for blender and then you can also use things like ai texturing to create different textures for materials and a whole bunch of really cool stuff and then one of the more challenging things that i think for the community was when i showed that you can actually use an ai renderer with blender so you can take something like a low polygon model or sketch out and then type in exactly what you want it to render and it's going to go ahead and create an image based off of whatever text you gave it and that 3d image that you're feeding it as well so all of this stuff was super cool and i gotta definitely disagree with this hot take saying that ai should be banned in blender i think it's ridiculous to even think that banning ai is something that's going to be in, in the future because just the way that things are going more and more people are able to create different tools that are using ai so to ban everything outright would be kind of ridiculous and pretty difficult and on top of that i think ai tools are one of the better technologies that can actually help creatives as well so when using things like blender a lot of the headaches i think will be alleviated with ai and it's pretty cool to see that even this one user came up with the concept of ai uv unwrapping which i think everyone would benefit from also things like ai texturing would be cool i think down the line we're going to see ai optimizing even things like topology animations and rendering definitely for sure so yeah gotta disagree with this one i'm all for ai and blender and ai in the creative industry which i know is a hot take because a lot of creatives are scared of ai so i don't know I, I i think it's pretty cool and then the last hot take this is probably the hottest is that it is not worth it to learn blender instead you should just focus on a software that is used professionally in the industry and if you guys are curious which ones they're referring to it's most likely going to be things like cinema 4d or 3ds max or if they're in the engineering space uh fusion 360 or autodesk tools so this one i understand definitely where they're coming from because whenever someone is looking for a professional 3d job most of the time that studio or that company is not going to be using blender i don't think i've ever seen it used in that professional setting like that but at the same time i think that blender has a lot going for it and it's getting more and more adopted so it is actually very helpful to learn blender now of course uis are going to change across different softwares but the fundamental principles of understanding how lighting works how to set up a scene things like keyframing rendering and using additional plugins to make your 3d software have much more functionality is something that can translate over to just about any 3d software so i think that would actually make the learning curve much easier to transition and on top of that the barrier for entry to using blender is absolutely none because the software is free whereas if you were to try and start off the bat with something like cinema 40 you're going to be paying a pretty hefty price just to get going so i gotta say i definitely disagree it is worth it to learn blender if you can go ahead and just start on cinema 40 that's also cool but yeah blender is completely worth it for those of you who are out there learning it right now and for anyone that thinks that blender is not a professional software there are a bunch of developers and people that make stuff using blender whether that's animations for commercials or freelancing that have a lot of work and are actually getting paid pretty decent rates while using a free software so blender is also used maybe not as big scale just yet in the entire community of professionals but for the motion design community blender is definitely getting up there so those are some of the most popular hot takes that i've seen but i'm curious if you have a specific opinion that you think is not as popular in the community or is going to be challenged for sure go ahead leave a comment down below i'm going to love reading it everyone else will love and hey let's have a discussion down in those comments anyways thanks for watching hope to catch you in the next one all right peace Okay, so my hot take on AI and artists is that I think artists are just too scared of AI. AI is coming. You guys can't stop it. Might as well embrace it. You're either going to join the AI or you're going to get left behind. And yeah, so that's my hot take. Let me hear what you guys think. Anyways, thanks for watching. All right, peace.